I don't think it's a bad thing that Mitt Romney is running for president, because, hey, if anyone wants to run for president, go for it. This guy's a fucking moron. Like, objectively, he's kind of stupid. Uh, Thomas Paine said, lead, follow, or get out of the way. And Mitt Romney was like, well, bruh, well, Mr. President, you were elected to lead, you chose to follow, now get out of the way. No, 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 he chose to follow, so it's lead, follow, or get out of the way. He chose to follow, so he shouldn't be getting out of the way because he's following. Like he's supposed to do, you fucking moron, Mitt. He's supposed to fucking follow. You're not supposed to charge forward, be number one every time. The whole world's pissed off the United States for doing that. And Barack finally fucking under took a step back and was like, hey, other people can lead also. Oh, we are all leaders. Um, I hope no one's taking seriously actually voting for Mitt Romney um, in the long run. I'm going to say something because I'm not going to let the world fall to shit without saying something about it. Uh, I like Ron Paul a lot, Ron. Run next in, in four years, run again because you're up against an incumbent president anyway. You know, I think it's a good idea to vote a guy into office for eight years if you're going to do it. Unless they're a fucking absolute moron, you find out four years in. But, you know. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Mitt Romney? I kind of like Newt Gingrich. I kind of like his personality. Kind of. You know. That's all I gotta say right now, Mitt. You did. You were wonderful last time you ran for president too, in your idiocy. And thank you for putting up with it again. I, and I don't want to. I don't want to like slam you personally because you're not a bad person. I, mean, I could even see, maybe go so far as say you're a good person. Um, but he's really buy, You're really buying into this like I'm better than them kind of mentality, and everyone's like cheering you on because they got nothing better to do. They're kind of like cows, you know. Uh, I would like to see more than a stump speech. I would like to see you, Mitt, uh, do more than just be like, yay, we're great, yay. Like, no, 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 let's pick a problem and outline the problem and then outline your idea for solutions for the problem. Though, what I believe is that you don't have any, so that's why you don't talk about it. Uh, anyway, I'm looking for the debates with Obama. Uh, I just want to see someone actually talk about solutions. I'm exhausted, man. Like I thought about stem cell research, right? I just want to bury my head in the sand, and I, I feel like. Because, and I know this is all about me, like, maybe because I'm not a doctor, like I didn't get my doctorate, I feel like I'm not allowed to have an opinion about medicine because people's reaction has been so harsh. Like, you, you're not a doctor, but like, I still have an opinion about it and I know a lot about it. Um, maybe not a lot relative to someone that studied it for 18 years, but I know enough about it to know that when something is zero calories, like NutraSweet, the reason it's zero calories is because a calorie is a unit of heat. And when your body synthesizes food or whatever you put into it, it creates heat. It creates calories. So when you put a food in your body that cannot be synthesized, it creates no heat. So NutraSweet goes in your body and it can't be synthesized by your body. Your body can't process it. So it doesn't produce any calories. But the NutraSweet's still inside of you. That's why it kills people. Talk about that at the election. Uh, have a good day.